A morning school bus pickup in Groveland almost turned dangerous. This after a landscaping truck sideswiped the bus and almost ran over kids waiting to board it. As WBZ's Ken McLeod reports, a father had to pull his daughter to safety. <laughs> Doreen Bordelais had just put her granddaughter on the school bus Tuesday morning when she spotted a landscaping truck careening down Salem Street. It's 8 o'clock in the morning. Are you drinking? Like, I couldn't figure it out. But it was only seconds before things took a scarier turn. This is video from on board the bus as it arrives at the next stop just a few houses away. And that's the sound of impact as the landscaping truck sideswipes the stop bus as it veers up onto the sidewalk and passes the bus on the right. I heard the screeches and he went up on the sidewalk and he went around the bus and just kept right on going and I was horrified. What you can't see is a father yanking his waiting daughter and another youngster off the sidewalk and out of the truck's path before it swerved back onto the road and sped off. That heroic dad told me he didn't want to talk about it. Father's uh, fast actions were able to uh, move the girl from harm, harm's way. Alyssa Barrera was one of just a few kids already on the bus. I was talking to my friend, so it just happened out of nowhere. Witnesses and nearby surveillance video eventually led police here to SLS Landscape in Rowley, where they identified the driver, who now faces several charges ranging from leaving the scene of an accident to driving on a suspended license. Fortunately, no one on the bus or waiting for it was hurt, but it was scary close. We could be looking at a very different situation. We're fortunate to, that uh, we can use this as a cautionary tale. Police say distracted driving was at least part of the problem, although that doesn't explain why the driver didn't stop. I have no idea of today's world. Alyssa's grandma offered to drive her to school that day, but the little girl insisted on taking the bus. In Groveland, Ken McLeod, WBZ News. Ken, thank